You're watching News 19 at 11 with J.R. Barry and Andrea Mock. All righty, tomorrow people all across the country will be celebrating World UFO Day. That's right, World UFO Day. But living in the Midlands, you may not know about an attraction that pays tribute to our outside visitors year-round, Bowman's UFO Welcome Center. Hello, welcome to Planet Earth. This is Jody Pendarvis. I'm the captain of the UFO Welcome Center. Uh, my name is David Wheeler and I live next door to the uh, Jody Pendarvis UFO Welcome Center here in Bowman, South Carolina. What made me uh, make up the Welcome Center, I'm not even too sure. Maybe uh, if you build it, they would come, so. But the aliens hadn't came by yet, but we still looking for them. <laughs> The UFO Welcome Center was started in 1994, and the second one was put up in 2001 after I saw my first real UFOs. <laughs> uh, he may have seen some aliens. He's claiming that he saw some back over this area one night up in the skies. This is a very tourist attraction. It's, it's on a lot of um, road maps and uh, all through the internet. So whenever somebody wants to go to Florida or go up north, they go and stop by here first. Yeah, we have a steady stream of people coming and going and looking at the UFO, yeah. Yeah, I expect a lot of tourists from all over. We're from Houston, Texas, and we heard of the, uh, this uh, UFO Welcome Center, and we wanted to know how true that is, so we just came by and stopped by and take a picture of it and hopefully the UFO when it comes it will recognize us. <laughs> I probably already had over 5,000 tourists since it's already been built. It's very unique. It's really something else. It's, it's, it's a little smaller than I expected. The tree is obstructing the view so he probably need to take the tree down if he wants the UFO to, <laughs> to recognize the, uh, the welcome center. I'm expecting the next uh, crash instead of Roswell, New Mexico, maybe land right here. Maybe on Independence Day, you never know. Live long and prosper. All righty. In honor of World UFO Day, we went out and found some of the eeriest images caught on camera over the years. This one taken back in 1932 in St. Paris, Ohio. Nowadays, this would probably be dubbed the UFO photobomb. <laughs> this next one was taken 10 years later in China. This picture was taken by an American on duty in the region. This one was taken in New Jersey. It was filed by the CIA as being taken in Pasoria. However, there is no Pasoria, New Jersey on the map. This final one was in the, actually in the Los Angeles Times. Pretty famous picture. It appeared back in 1942. You can clearly see members of the Army shining a light on the so-called UFO. They actually fired on whatever it was. Here's a closer look at the image. This negative clearly shows a shape which is similar to what most of us consider to be the typical alien UFO spaceship. You see Typical, it meaning the ones that we see all the time. It looks like <laughs> the ones that we've seen outside. Yeah, something like that. I like it at the Welcome Center that they have that recliner, like a you lazy like boy out yeah. front, because the first thing the aliens are going to want to do is obviously take it's, a load off. It's been a long journey. Yeah, it has been. They'll have to recline, pull the little bar and go back. Yeah. Put their feet up. That's right. It's a good idea. Human technology at work. <laughs> <laughs> first thing they want to do on Everybody Earth is has to see it. Get in the recliner, exactly. <laughs> It's a good idea. I might go to Marble Slab instead, but never. hey, whatever, <laughs> whatever floats your yeah, boat. Yeah, but that aliens. might give the aliens indigestion. You know Very true. We don't know about their digestive That's systems. Right. We could talk about this all night, but mm -hmm. let's talk about the rain that we still saw out there today. Yeah, everybody wants it to go away. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's eventually going to go away, but a lot more is going to fall before it does.